Hello everyone, Rajri here. Welcome back to Mohana Astrology. Today I'm going to present to you with the uh, horoscope for July 2020. Let us see what the planets are playing in the sky and what will be their effects in our lives. July starts on a very auspicious note. 5th July is the day of Guru Purnima. It is celebrated in the memory of Sage Vyasa. It is the day to seek obeisance to the Guru, whether he is or she is your spiritual Guru or otherwise. There is also a penumbral lunar eclipse on 5th of July. However, it is not visible from India. It's visible from the European countries, from North and South Americas, and from some parts of Western Africa. Now let us come to the planetary movements and transits of this month. Let's see what's happening in the sky. This month's sun is transiting from uh, Gemini to Cancer on 16th of July. It denotes beginning of sun's movement to the southern hemisphere. It's called Dakshinayan. Venus is going to stay in the sign of uh, Taurus for the entire July. It's also in direct motion. Mercury, which is retrograde currently in the sign of Gemini, will go direct on 12th of July and will stay in uh, Gemini for the whole month. Mars stays put in Pisces. Retrograde Jupiter has moved back into its own sign, its Mool Trikuna sign of Sagittarius on 30th of June. And it's going to stay there for the entire month of July. Uh, Saturn stays put in retrograde motion in its own sign of Capricorn. And Rahu and Ketu are staying in, in the sign of Gemini and Sagittarius. So this is the uh, celestial configuration this month. And uh, now let's see what is the planetary energy that we can expect in this month. The big event of this month is of course Jupiter's moving back in Sagittarius. Jupiter's retrograde movement in Sagittarius uh, gives us an opportunity to uh, complete and rectify if there is anything unattended or incomplete related to higher learning uh, that we started earlier or related to spirituality or related to our culture and tradition. So this will be a wonderful window of opportunity to strengthen those areas because when uh, Jupiter moves uh, direct in Sagittarius and it will be out of touch uh, with Ketu because Ketu would have moved back in uh, Scorpio by that time that time will be the time to manifest everything that we do now and those manifestation can only occur in our lives positively if we can utilize this energy to rectify and consolidate our lives uh, related to these areas now. So as we can see that uh, most of the major planets like Jupiter, uh, Saturn, Mercury and Venus are uh, all are in their own signs. This itself is uh, a good news, a good sign, apparently. Now, it has the potential to bring some uh, positivity in our lives and stability in the uh, current situation. But there is a little but here. The irony is all these are either afflicted or creating 6-8 relationship or it's called Sharashtak relationship in transit. The planets cannot really yield uh, results to its full potential. Now in the month of July with so many 6-8 uh, relationships forming in the sky, uh, the, the benefic results of planets being in their own houses uh, do not really manifest completely. 
Another important transit this month is Sun-Saturn opposition, which is forming after 16th of July. So after 16th of July in the Kalpurush Kundali, Sun and Saturn are occupying the houses 4 and 10 respectively. The Sun as it's you know going to Cancer, it's not really in its best state. It's kind of you know having less power and Saturn is very strong uh, being retrograde in its own sign of Capricorn. So uh, this opposition is going to play its little tricks on our own on our lives. This opposition uh, denotes poor health for people and uh, opposition from others, difficulties that may seem uh, almost impossible to overcome and um, some sort of you know feeling of detachment or separation from home or from homely atmosphere rather it's the departure from uh, the comfortable life that it denotes and as a result of this uh, opposition there may be financial difficulties there also may be some sort of emotional or uh, you know mental issues mental turmoils in some of us. There may be a feeling of separation, as I said earlier. And the other thing that happens on the mundane level, uh, since Sun is not really powerful uh, being in Cancer and Saturn is very powerful, it shows that uh, there may be some opposition coming from outside to home. Now, if we relate that to the mundane, mundane level, it can happen that uh, there will be some sort of opposition from outside countries uh, in our own country. The good news is that this opposition is going to uh, be in the sky till middle of uh, August. And after that, it's going to move away when sun moves to the next sign. And uh, meanwhile, it will be best to keep calm, have patience and uh, lower the expectations from our own lives. Now I'm going to discuss how this energy manifests in our uh, personal lives. I'll discuss about all 12 signs. Please note that these predictions are based on your Vedic moon sign. It's not as per your sun sign or western signs and uh, use these predictions as general guidelines uh, for yourself because the results will greatly vary as per your own chart, how the planets are placed, how powerful they are, what dasha or antar dasha you are running and uh, finally what, what kind of karmic footprint you are having on this world. So there is a lot of factor that determines how the energies are going to manifest on us but the generalistic view I'm going to give you now. Now if you want to get a detailed account of uh, how your July can go, you can visit my website www.mohanaastrology.com where I have posted the detailed account of each sign. Here I'm going to discuss in short what you may expect. Let me start with Aries. Jupiter retrograde in Sagittarius it shows uh, increase in luck factor for you and your fortune will also increase and there may be some misunderstanding due to miscommunication in the first half of the month so please do take care of your uh, what you're communicating with others be crystal clear in what you're trying to say and be polite as well and your siblings health may suffer a little bit there can be rise in expenditure and there can be diseases uh, related to your eye and um, insomnia and some mental anxiety can be there as well. Take care of your high BP if you have. And uh, there may be the, the good thing this month is there may be a high increase in your spirituality. Moving on to Taurus, the second half of the month is looking much better than the first half for the Taurus. 
you may have disputes with people who are corrupt and not really in your familiar uh, circle of people and uh, in the first half of the month and jupiter in your 8th house is not really great it may bring back some of the diseases that you had earlier and may also bring some fluctuations in finance and in family environment and there will be some issues related to in-laws and um, and with the spouse as well and you need to take care of your speech how you speak and uh, and and try to keep it cordial do not say anything harsh to anyone next comes gemini gemini try to have a uh, good terms with your family and with your friends and jupiter's move back to sagittarius is going to give some financial support to you and it's going to reduce your problems as well and uh, so be careful of diseases that is related to chest and respiratory organs um we all need to be careful actually but uh, you need to be slightly more careful and mental anxiety and uh, emotional instability may be there this month you please pay attention to those and stay away from unscrupulous people moving on to cancer for cancer people this month uh, may not be that great jupiter's move back in sagittarius may cause uh some obstacles in your profession and your employment and finance will need attention do not uh, uh you know uh, spend anywhere where it is not needed try to save as much as possible and curb all sorts of wasteful expenditure your eye uh, needs some care this month if you are a patient of high blood pressure please take care and you also need to be careful about fever there are indications in your chart um, for foreign travel but under these current circumstances please be extremely cautious and plan really well before you decide to go anywhere now leo for leo people this month shows that uh, jupiter retrogression in sagittarius is bringing back their progress and fortune so there can be some issues however with your in-laws and with your spouse and again take care of fever cuts and wounds there may be some tussles with people of foreign lands uh, if you are dealing with people who are from abroad in your profession and your business you need to take uh, you know a little bit more care than usual while interacting with them and children's health need some sort of caution uh, there will be a, an increase in spirituality use this time to uh, strengthen your inner core moving on to virgo this month doesn't really look that great for virgo people um, jupiter retrograde in sagittarius and uh, position of mars uh, can create trouble in marital life and there can be issues in domestic front uh, gain uh, there will be gain though through friends and colleagues and um, you need to curb unnecessary expenditure take care of your children's health and take care of getting hurt and drive carefully and be cautious of get uh, when you are getting uh, cuts and wounds now for libra for libra you are having very strong venus um which is direct now which is all powerful now and uh, it's bringing wealth prosperity and happiness to you there can be some property exchange there i'm sorry there can be some property gain for you as well and there will be chances of progress in profession after 16th of july however avoid conflicts with spouse with your seniors at workplace and with the authorities or government take care of your own health and your parents health 
long distance travel may be there but please try to avoid this unless it's uh, absolutely important to go there will be spiritual uh, elevation uh, if you are uh, pursuing the spiritual path and if you are spiritually already sound scorpio for scorpio people uh, there will be difficulty related to your children and your health needs uh, attention as well now jupiter's retrogression movement into sagittarius is very good for job prospects and progress at work and there will be gain and boost in earning as well uh, the relationship with the family members will need some sort of caution and spirituality will go up moving on to sagittarius jupiter retrograde uh, your sign lord is jupiter and jupiter retrograde will bring you wealth and some hurdles in life as well so there can be issues with partners and with the spouse due to your high ego now lack of domestic happiness and a conflict with the spouse is also foreseen uh, there can be sudden gain of wealth and you may suffer from some sort of stomach problems mental anxiety or anger related issues it's very important for you to keep your anger in check and uh, there can be issues with your high blood pressure if you have and uh, the the best part in all this is there will be rise in spirituality and you utilize this time to calm your inner self down moving on to capricorn this is a good month for capricorn most of the capricorn people rather i should say and jupiter retrograde in your 12th house is going to increase your spirituality as well as your expenditure now there will be happiness related to your children and it's a good month for profession though there will be rise in earning and gain and your enemies and competitors are going to retreat uh, you need to keep your cool though your spouse's health needs attention in the second half of the month july 2024 aquarius is going to be good jupiter retrograde in sagittarius will increase your fortune and give progress in work impact of sari sati will be felt much less this month and the financial and the professional success are seen uh, there will be gain from property and land uh, but however you need to take care of your expenses as expenses are going to shoot up the roof lastly for pisces jupiter is your sign lord and it's uh, retrograding it has retrograded in uh, sagittarius mm -hmm. so it kind of shows some sort of emotional turbulence and um, there will be some loss related to the property you have actually been enjoying a couple of good months in the past but this month is not really going great for you pisces uh, your health may cause some concern uh, there will be trouble from authorities or from the government if you are not careful and uh, with the taxes and other things and the anger anger and aggression may be there your home atmosphere and mother's health uh, may cause concern to you the spouse's health also needs attention uh, you know it's it's better that you know you uh, consolidate your inner energy be spiritual and pray a lot that actually applies for all of us during these times and uh, with this i am ending this video hope you have all enjoyed it and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share the video as well and that's going to oh there is one more thing that i have not shared yet with you uh, one of my videos that is uh, saturn in the second house has gotten more than 1500 views uh, this month and it, it it makes me really really encouraged to uh, do more videos thank you so much it really really helps me a lot so with this i am ending this video may god bless us all thank you